All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at IBM Think, and uh, it's day one. I'm super excited because we just came out of the keynote, and I have uh, Dinesh here with me from IBM. Dinesh, welcome to the Robert Show. Thank you, Ravid. Uh, really good to be here. Yeah, ex very excited and uh, great announcements that Arvind just made at the keynote. Uh, I'm kind of curious to get into that. Uh, but just for audience, would you like to introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at IBM. Sure. Um, thanks, Ravid, and uh, really excited to be here at Think. Uh, my name is Dinesh Nirmal. I'm the Senior Vice President for IBM Software. So, that's the base introduction. Yes. Um, thanks, Dinesh, for taking the time out and chatting with us. Uh, I have a curious question. As companies are still, you know, trying to figure out how to integrate and scale AI, how can they prepare for what's next? Today we are speaking about AI agents. Uh, tomorrow it will be something else. Uh, right. So where should they start from? You know. Ravid, actually that's a really good question. I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because if you look at the technology, it has gone through a transformation. Right. You started with, you know, for example, information integration bus, you have gone through applications, you have gone through analytics, you have gone through assistance, now it's about agents. Right. What is the one thing that have stayed constant? It's data. data. Nice. Exactly. Thank you. Because data yeah. has always been constant. You take BI for example, analytics. There was analytical data. Then came Hadoop data. Then came structured data, unstructured data. Data has been the common theme across all these application-centric layer above. Right. So I think having the grip on that data and making sure that agents can utilize that data. Yeah. I'll give you one more example, right? Look at agents. Agents are all about tools. Right. What is the biggest tools agents are going to take advantage of? Data. data. So I call it data tools. So that's going to be the future. That's nice. Uh, talking about data, we've been kind of, you know, uh, hearing a lot about uh, structured and unstructured data. And, uh, you know, unstructured data is like a key piece as well in the AI agents. Uh, what do you think about it? Do you want to share a little bit about, you know, how you all are solving the unstructured data problem as well? Yeah. So if you look at it, at enterprises, 90% of data growth is happening on unstructured data. Right. That means images, chats, um, videos, all yep. those things is really driving. Now enterprises are saying, how do I really take advantage of that unstructured data? Right. And that's why if you look at generative AI, why did vector database become such an important piece of it? Because you can now take the, data, the unstructured data, chunk it, meaning cut it into pieces, right. store it in a vector database, and now you can do a search on it, and which is called the similarity search to get right. really good performance and accuracy. That's called, the phenomenon is called RAG. But that is not really working because you're not getting the level of performance and accuracy you need. Right. So this whole unstructured data growth and proliferation of unstructured data is going to help companies like IBM because they need to combine the unstructured data with the enterprise data, one. Yep. Two, they need enterprise level tools that can give the performance and accuracy and scalability for enterprises. And three, enterprises want governed data. They exactly. don't want any data. They want to take this unstructured data and be able to govern it. Who can do that better than IBM? So it's a huge opportunity. So when we talk about agents, we talk about assistant Revit, I right. think the biggest opportunity for a company like IBM is data. And that's what I'm so excited about. I love it. And uh, I'm kind of also curious to learn a little about, you know, the Watson X data and uh, the latest version of that. Uh, can you share a little bit about that too? Yeah. And you will see me so excited about talking <laughs> about data because I grew up in data. I was a data developer and I grew yeah. up through data. So whenever I have to talk about data, I'm really excited. Just talked yeah. about unstructured data, the proliferation of unstructured data happening. Right. But beyond that, how do you really take advantage of unstructured data, combine it with structured data in enterprise, and really create value out of it? That yep. is the question in front of enterprises. This is why RAG became so popular, because now you can take that unstructured data, you know, like I said, chunk it and all those things. Yep. But now enterprises are realizing that I am not getting the level of accuracy and I'm not getting the level of performance and scalability. True. So what we have done with Watson X dot data that's coming out in June is that you can get 40% more accuracy and performance using Watson X dot data because we are taking not only vector DB, we are right. also storing parts of it on structured data right. into a structured database. So when a query comes in, the query goes against both and brings what I call a data pile to look at both sides and bring better performance and accuracy. 
which is what every customer is looking for. So what does enterprise want? They want security, right? they want scalability, yep. they want performance, and they want accuracy. Yes. Then only all this data becomes manageable and valuable to them. That's what that data is focused on. What's next that data is focused on. Fantastic insights there, Dinesh, and I totally agree when you kind of talk about, you know, govern data, manage data, and obviously also if they can manage the scalability, right? Exactly. Uh, exactly. So that's awesome. Uh, in the world where we are, obviously, AI kind of is a very, you know, competitive landscape, I would say. What do you think uh, sets IBM apart from the competitors out there? The biggest opportunity for IBM is one, the fact that we have been with enterprises for 100 plus years. Who knows Very enterprise true. better than IBM? Very true. We can come in, help you transform. We can help come and help you build agents because we know how enterprises work. We know, because what is agents, right? Agents are all about calling tools. Whether you're calling Salesforce, whether you're calling Workday, whether you're calling right. SAP Success Factors, it's right. all about tools. And the biggest tool that any agent can have is data tool. Yeah. And we are the best in the industry when it comes to data, being able to give you governed data, being able to give you secure data, being able to give you scalable data. So we are in a in a best position to help enterprises unlock that data value. Yeah, and I think also the you know the customers that like I saw Ferrari at the keynote. I saw other great uh, enterprises uh, y'all are catering to. That makes you all much more ahead in the game. And at the same time, y'all are catering to such large enterprises and over the years. So and also Revit credibility. Credibility because you need credibility in this space. Very true. Trust because nobody is going to give you their data unless they trust you. Very true. Right. I agree. So. Who else can you trust more when it comes to data than IBM? Because we have been there. We know your data, we know your applications. So I would say that is our biggest opportunity and that's our biggest strength. I love it. Uh, this is great, Dinesh. Uh, also one quick question because I've heard uh, the keynote and uh, Arvind spoke a little bit about this. Uh, IBM talks about you know hybrid and open, right? Uh, and that is very important for the community out there as well. Why is that important? How does it help the data leaders and practitioners listening today? Hybrid, we have been talking about hybrid for the last four or five years. Right. We acquired uh, Red Hat yep. with all vision around hybrid. We just closed the acquisition of HashiCorp, I all know. focused on um, hybrid. Why? Because you know, no customer is going to go put all their data, all their application on a single cloud. They want some level of flexibility, especially given the current climate. Exactly. And they're going to store their data behind the firewall, multiple clouds, sovereign clouds. That enables a company like IBM to really take advantage of hybrid. So exactly. we keep saying hybrid cloud and AI because we saw that five years ago to say, the world is going to be hybrid. Behind yeah, right. the firewall and on the public cloud. Some data will go to public cloud, some data will stay behind. But we are ready and we have been talking about it and I think the next five, 10 years, it's all going to be about hybrid. I love it. Uh, thanks for sharing that, Dinesh. Uh, fantastic insights and uh, love chatting with you. But just for audience, uh, one last question that I have is, if people want to follow your journey, if they want to you know, obviously follow everything that you all are announcing, where can they do that and where can they follow you as well? Is LinkedIn the best place? Follow me on LinkedIn. I mean, you know, I'm always looking for more and more <laughs> followers, so follow me. Yeah. But, uh, great show. I mean, you know, uh, LinkedIn is the best place. We are also announced on www.ibm.com. People can go and check out all the, you know, the releases that they do. But uh, I'm out there. I'll be, you know, obviously chatting with uh, great leaders like Dinesh and we'll get the good content with them. Great show. Keep Thank the you. good work and look forward to it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dinesh, for uh, joining us today. Such a pleasure chatting with you. Same here. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you, everyone, for joining us.